Hey guys, so of course I'm at my Christmas and I'm doing a couple videos and I wanted to talk to you guys about, drum roll please, the food addiction dilemma. So what's the deal with the fucking carb, sugar, fucking bonanza, crazy blah? What is the problem? Well, the problem is when you grow up, and sometimes doctors will even put a drop of sugar, like tiny, like think, on a screaming baby to get them to be quiet because it has a dopamine-like effect. It's like a drug. And this is why some of you guys, as we grow up on a standard American diet, you can't manage that crazy simple sugar that slams into your bloodstream and destroys your serotonin and your dopamine receptors. Grains and glucose are like as freaking addictive as crack cocaine. And when you eat, you feel good. And then when you stop eating, you start thinking about eating again. Now this isn't a psychological event. This is an event of your hormones and your receptor sites. So people who try keto really want to try to manage their food addictions and their carb addictions and their chocolate and their sweets, that chronic, oh my God, I need some sweets. But the problem is, y'all, to get the business, you've got to do whatever it takes. And I mean whatever it takes to put your body back in balance. So how are we going to do that? It's not just going on the ketogenic diet that's going to stop the addictions. No. You know what else is going to stop the addictions? You. You have the power to stop a physical action motivated by a cell and your hormonal responses. So here we go. Don't carb cycle. Carb cycling is going to make your addiction worse because you're going to get a slam of glucose if you do simple sugar, processed sugar, grain, rice, potato, quinoa, fruit, you name it. Really? Really, really? I thought you got a better muscle response if you actually used the muscle and didn't slam the weight. Okay, back to my video. So basically, um, what you want to do is you have to think, okay, I'm addicted to glucose, so trying the ketogenic diet is the attempt to get your body to use ketones so that the signal from your brain or your cells to eat more goes down exponentially. And then you don't have this blood sugar dysregulation and have your serotonin take a dump because that's what happens when you eat over five grams of glucose every couple of hours. You, your body tries to get rid of that glucose. You go from high sugar to low sugar and then you're tired in the afternoon and then you have to refeed. And then the pumping, pulsating obsession to eat comes slamming back. Now the reason why I'm mentioning this very quickly in my little grimace is because I get asked about it quite often lately to do videos about food addictions and how to battle it. Now, you guys listen to me. If you're trying the ketogenic, non-BS diet, you really want to make sure that you eat enough fat because everybody thinks they eat enough fat and there's no limit to fat. And no, it's not gonna junk up your liver. Okay, here we go again. have to. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, it's not going to junk up your liver and it's not going to give you a heart attack. Not if you're eating healthy fats from healthy animals and healthy sources of like avocado fruits. Because mm -hmm. avocado is a fruit. And since it's uh, high in fat and fiber, the rate at which the carbohydrates hits the blood is very slow, so you do not have an insulinogenic effect or glucose effect, so eat your avocados. Try to get addicted off of them puppies. So what you want to do is you want to crank up your fats high. And you want to get your bed butt to bed because a lot of people are having the early morning dawn's effect 
of cortisol during the night, a lot of cortisol during the night, and they wake up exhausted with inverted cortisol, then they fast, skip breakfast, and then the food addictions go bonanzas. That's what we don't want. So you guys, what are we gonna do about it? You wanna get up, you wanna have breakfast early in the a.m. Don't wait. Not even wait 45 minutes. Don't like get your kids off and get them ready and don't prep for whatever work right away like a like a like a zombie. Go into the kitchen, have a fatty protein, and immediately tell your brain that there's no famine. We're gonna, because you've been fasting all night long. People eat at night and they skip up. How does that work? If you wake up in the morning and you gotta go, 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 why are you fasting? Food still, even if you're in ketosis, food is the signal of non-famine. So if you don't want the stress hormones to go out of like berserk, then you want to start eating breakfast. Later, once you keto adapt and you don't have the carb cravings and the sugar cravings, you might be able to intermittent fast, but uh, not right now. Nope, not now. Right now, you guys want to crank up the fats and your snacks are fat snacks. Do you need me to tell you what's pure fat? Butter, <laughs> coconut oil, bone broth. Yes, these are nice fat snacks. And don't eat the, the chicken scratchings as they call them in England or, or the pork rinds as a snack because now you're doubling up on your freaking protein. And if you go over your protein limit, you're gonna crave carbs even more. So a lot of people, they're afraid of fat, so they up their protein. And protein, and then you excess protein, then gluconeogenesis, and bam, you start to crave the carbs even more. And the sugar, and the chocolate, and the sweets, and the goodies, and all the sorts you can not think of anymore. So many crave carbs, sugar. So tip one, get up and eat a breakfast. Fatty meats, you don't like bacon? Have turkey bacon. You don't like turkey bacon? Have two ounces of pork belly or, or whatever. You can have tallow, you can have uh, grass-fed beef, make some um, you know, ground beef and make some little sausage patties yourself. Some turkey patties. Yep. Um, what else helps? Fatty tea. Don't know how to get the fats in? Pour it in a tea. You don't notice it when you're drinking it. Visually, your brain has this aversion to fat, so when you add a lot of fat to your foods, you're just like, oh my God, it's just so much fat, I'm gonna get sick, and so people stop putting enough fat into their diet. So that's what we don't want. We wanna jack up the fats. There's no limit to fat in the beginning. Are you going to lose weight if you jack up your fats that high? Probably not, but that's okay, because eating fat, people don't understand this concept. Eating fat, tells your brain that there's no famine because it's addicted to the carbohydrate. You would, when you cut the carbs out, the body will do whatever it can to raise your glucose levels back up and it starts breaking down muscle. So to stop that chain reaction, you have to stuff the body with fat. So the brain understands there's no famine. It doesn't use fat as fuel. It has to learn how to do it. And that's why it takes time. Stop waiting for fat loss in the first month. Oh, hey, no. That's gonna come later when your brain starts to convert, your liver starts to convert ketones and your body actually uses them instead of pissing them out or breathing them out of your breath. Okay, guys, so that's how you beat the food addiction. To be honest, it's get disciplined, it's go to bed early because staying up at night gets your cortisol cranked up and what does cortisol do? It produces sugar by breaking down your muscle, converting it into sugar, so now you've got excess blood sugar and then the brain's like carbs and then you're not adapting. Get your butt to the gym because muscles are metabolically active and they want to eat. So fat's not metabolically active. It's just going to get more fat. So you want to work out, but you want to do it moderately in the beginning so you don't produce what? Too much cortisol. That means don't get your blood pressure too high, especially if you have metabolic derangement work your way up to that level. Okay guys, fat snacks, eat breakfast, go to bed early by 10, uh, don't eat food at night because you're going to have undigested food in your stomach and now your body's got to go on the job and start digesting food and that's like Paul, Robin from Pete, 
to, to feed like, no, body wants to rest so it can just straight repair. And if you're digesting, it's working. So then you're not repairing and you're not breaking down fat and you're not producing ketones and you're wake up, waking up in the morning with too high glucose and you're not adapting. That's how you beat the food addiction. Stop looking at food porn. That's another big thing. People are like Googling, oh, what are the recipe? oh, recipes. Learn how to spice your food. Ginger, turmeric, um, salt, pepper, nice Himalayan or, or the Celtic uh, sea salt combination to get your minerals. Um, garlic, these are great flavorful spices that you can use that are medicinal, that help your liver, your kidneys, your colon. Hello, Zs. Okay, guys, so that's how you do it. You get strict, you meal prep, you stay, you design your mind, yes, because it's a terrible thing to waste, and uh, you change your body by changing your mind and your personality and getting strict and strict and stop complaining and stop. There's a bunch of birds right over the camera. I wonder if you guys can see that. You know I love to digress. Where's those birds? You see the birds, you guys? I'm like so tripping on it, and the sky is so moody. Do -do -do. Okay, so you guys got that? It is all about prepping, going to bed early. Don't watch TV from bed. Don't look at your cell phone from bed. Get the blue light blocking glasses to block out the blue light, which tells your brain it's two o'clock in, in the day when it's really like eleven o'clock at night. Um, don't eat food late at night and jack up your fat to curb the carb cravings. Don't jack up your protein, jack up your fats. And if you want to learn more, you can go to stephaniepersonal.com, Stephanie the business person on my Facebook fan page, or Stephanie Ketogenic on Instagram. Because there I do 15 second videos. Peace out. More is coming. And I'm going on vacation finally, so you guys are going to see cool videos from across the world. Peace out.